New York's, a salt and battery fish and chip shop they serve Atlantic Cod. Most customers have no idea that it could soon be taken off the menu for good. I had absolutely no idea. I hope the problem gets solved soon though. For thousands of years, cod was super abundant and fishermen joked that they could cross the Atlantic by walking on their backs. But in recent decades, trawlers overfished them. Officials imposed drastic quota reductions, thinking it would replenish stocks. But now a study in the journal Science concludes that sharp ocean temperature increases in the Gulf of Maine have suppressed the ability of cod to reproduce. Government scientists working for the agency responsible for fisheries policy, NOAA, are meeting to discuss the data. There's certainly uh, clear scientific evidence that climate change and warming oceans are affecting distribution and productivity of fish stocks, particularly in New England, where uh, for a number of reasons there's a, there's a greater um, uh, ocean warming effect. The study says the waters between Maine and the Canadian Maritimes have warmed 99.9% .9 faster than the rest of the world's oceans, mainly due to the disproportionate impact of the warming currents known as the Gulf Stream. We can't turn the dial that changes the temperature of the Gulf of Maine. We can't change uh, the acidification levels in the Gulf of Maine. So uh, we still just have that one level of managing the harvest levels and we don't know how much of a factor that has. You know, you push down fishing levels, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the stocks go up the way it used to. Atlantic cod stocks were recently calculated to be about 3 to 4 percent of sustainable levels. So the researchers are convinced that there's a link between the warming of these waters and the ability of cod to reproduce. But what they don't understand yet is how the cod will adapt to these conditions within the ecosystem moving forward. So despite fishing quotas being 95% less than they used to be, scientists say it's impossible for them to predict whether even that will be enough to save the Atlantic cod from extinction. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Kent Island, Maryland.